the Buffalo Soldiers taught me that um, regardless of your skin color, where you came from, things that you believe, um, it all depends on the content of your character. That if you bring yourself, despite diversity, your best self present every day, that you could be enough and you are enough to accomplish wonderful things. In 1866, shortly after the end of the Civil War, the United States Congress approved the assembly of two African-American cavalry regiments. These regiments served with distinction throughout the American West, eventually earning the nickname the Buffalo Soldiers by the Native Americans, who respected the soldiers' fighting prowess. In 1907, a detachment of these soldiers came here to West Point to support cadet riding instructions and mounted drill. Although universally respected for their superior horsemanship and soldier skills, West Point's Buffalo Soldiers could not escape life in a segregated army. Buffalo Soldiers came, they did such a great job, universally loved by Highland Falls, by the Academy. Uh, on the negative side, the Army was segregated, the nation was segregated. They weren't allowed to actually train the soldiers, that was only done by white soldiers and white officers. They weren't allowed to walk by white officers' housing. Uh, they weren't allowed to swim in pools. So there was, a, there was a separation geographically, socially, culturally, and even legally. My husband loved, loved, loved West Point. But what I'm trying to tell you, the old timer never, never gave the Buffalo Soldier a chance on kind of color of their skin. Everything they would, they did not want him to do, he was determined to do it better. That's the way the Buffalo Soldier worked. In 1973, Calvary Field was renamed Buffalo Soldier Field for their dedication, determination, and love. And for that, it will continuously be remembered here at the Academy.